another episode of the startup ceo lifestyle tv sit back relax don't forget to like comment and subscribe and become a part of our family blessings and peace unto you got to correct me but uh we are headed to the west rim of the grand canyon never been to the grand canyon before been to vegas many a times for basketball for the youngest our oldest our youngest is at school right now so we're trailblazing with the oldest as he embarks upon his journey of professional football uh, basketball <laughs> i got it all wrong today but anyway we love doing whatever we have to do for our babies because no matter how old they get they're gonna always be our unos okay. number one uno. so we are headed to the west rim of um somewhere here in nevada in las vegas and we are going to share with you the journey this ride is really breathtaking with all the views it's amazing and we saw some couple a couple of things that we're going to get some pictures of and some video on the way back but we are excited to go to the west rim of the grand canyon being that we've never been to the grand canyon before we've been to vegas as i mentioned many times but never had the opportunity to get this far so this is really an exciting trip as far as this is one of the seventh wonders of the world and uh, it is a blessed opportunity to be able to see a hole in the earth isn't that what you called it the hole in the earth Yes, a hole in the earth. So stay tuned and be prepared. We want to show it to you. Okay, talk to you soon. Currently, we are driving down a street with no center line. It's bumpy, and this is the desert. The desert of Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, we're in Arizona. I said um, Las Vegas earlier. We're actually in Arizona. No center line. Um, but we're almost there. Almost there. This is real rural, desert-like environment. We don't even see. It's, it's a whole bunch of trailers on the side of the road, as I've shown you. And driving, don't see a grocery store or a gas station anywhere near. And we're almost there, probably about maybe another 30 to 40 minutes. the tickets now we're getting ready to go get on the bus the thing that i like they give you the option if you want to ride the sky or walk the skywalk 
or not. As scary as I am, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you got strippers, so don't go too close. It's simply amazing. Simply amazing. Yeah, come here. quick history about the Grand Canyon. It is in the northwest corner of Arizona, close to the borders of Utah and Nevada. The Colorado River, which flows through the canyon, drains water from seven states. But this feature we know as the Grand Canyon is entirely in Arizona. So you may ask, why is the Grand Canyon so famous? The Grand Canyon is considered one of the famous examples of anti-land erosion in the world. It is enclosed by the Colorado River, as I mentioned, and the canyon is immense, averaging 4,000 feet deep for its entire 277 miles. It is 6,000 feet deep at its deepest point, which is 18 miles at the widest. Woo wee! Scary? Yes, it is. So y'all know at this time we're hungry. <laughs> we gotta have a foodie moment here. We're going into this place that overlooks the skywalk of the Grand Canyon and we're hoping this food is pretty good. This is a nice little gift shop to get you some mementos so that you can always remember this trip. Head up to the restaurant overlooking the skywalk. It's mid-afternoon and it's past my lunchtime. We thought it would be much more crowded than it is. It was not a wait. We walked right in and sat at our table. They only had four items on the menu and does that say $17? Ooh wee, it better be good. And so you know it's hot out here. So this gave us an opportunity to bask in the air <laughs> and enjoy some food. So this one here, my big baby, he thinks everything is good. He's enjoying this moment. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's eat. It was a little expensive for what you got and it was a little dry but I was hungry. The views are breathtaking and they literally compensated for the food and the $17 meal. Have you ever slept in a teepee? This is taking me way back. I haven't either but I remember my times in the military. I used to love bidwack and being outside enjoying nature. 80 to 85 at the moment. It's nice and cool. So, very comfortable. Yep, so this is our second stop coming up. This is Guano Point. Guano Point is one of the best views along the entire length of the canyon because you notice the point is pretty much entirely surrounded by the canyon. Right. So, Everhears has got fantastic views 
you have the best views, hike out to the end of the point of the old tower there, you know, it's a 360 degree view around you. It's only about a quarter mile just right down along this trail here. Or you can climb up either one of these hills, and up there you get almost a 360 degree view. But even without the hiking and the climbing, just even just right along here and right over here to the left, you get these great views all the way down to the river. And then any bus that comes in here will take you back down the terminal. Buses come every couple of minutes. Like I said, it's part of your ticket. Well worth checking out. All right. And then the most important thing to remember is that from here down to the river, it's only about 3,700 feet. Give or take a couple feet, but it's kind of straight down. Just be careful out there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see you back on the bus. So otherwise, you have to get a spatula to straighten you up. So we don't, we don't want that. So yeah, this is you do love this spot. Like I said, this is amazing. Whoa. So on this side of the canyon's view, there literally were no rails and the bus driver was right. If you fall, <laughs> forget a spatula, you broken up in pieces and you are just a goner. And from what I've read, a lot of people have taken that jump in their lives trying to be insta famous. Look, I ain't that girl. I'm just going to take a few shots here and there and get my tail back over there closer to the rails. As clumsy as me and you are, Jai. I am a little clumsy. Look at here. I know what's best for me. I'm just going to enjoy the views from here and stay where I am. And I am super clumsy. Ja, come back over here, babe. They are just simply too adventurous for me. That right there is a hole. Look like the rock broke open and you can see straight down to the bottom. No, thank you. When coming to the Grand Canyon, there are six things that you do not want to miss. The Grand Canyon Village, the Grand Canyon Skywalk, the Historic District, the Havascapo Falls, I may be pronouncing that incorrectly, the Desert View Drive and the North Rim. All are worthy of your sights and a beautiful view for sure. You can also take a helicopter ride, which I was not adventurous enough to do. As I mentioned, I'm scary, so that was not even on my list. But you can also raft through the Grand Canyon. You can spend a night. You can float the Colorado River, and you can turn it into a road trip like we did. A quick road trip from one point to the next just to see this seven wonder of the world. This was a great experience. Peace. Straight wheel. Uh -uh. Whoa. He said be careful. Oh, look at the water, y'all. That's the Colorado River flowing through the Grand Canyon. I don't know about you, but I am just always amazed at the perfection of God's creative hands. The formation of the rock, the beauty and the structure, absolutely amazing. So if you decide to stay overnight at the Grand Canyon, you can absolutely do that. The Plantation Ranch, which is at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, is a popular destination for hikers and mule riders. Just as another side note, we found out that there was a secret waterfall cave. And just like any other good secrets, no one can tell you exactly where it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We greatly appreciate you being a part of the Startup CEO Lifestyle TV.